Why are felines stronger than canids? It's the debate that will rage on forever, which is better, cats or dogs? But the debate of which is stronger? No contest. It's cats. But why? And is it true in the sense of all species of felines being stronger than canines? We'll break it down for you like we're analyzing boxers. Pound for pound, why are felines stronger than canines? Domestic cats and dogs. Most of us have experience with domestic cats and dogs. They are, after all, the most popular pets in most of the world. And when you look at domestic cats and dogs, dogs tend to be much larger on average. Of course, there are breeds like Minpins and Chihuahuas and other tiny varieties, but most pet dogs are either slightly bigger than cats or much bigger than cats. And domestic cats usually stay in the same basic size range. Most pet cats are somewhere between 5 pounds and 20 pounds. But with dogs, that is not the case at all. Yes, there are 5 pound dogs and 20 pound dogs, but there are also 40 pound dogs, 60 pound dogs. Hey, there are St. Bernard's and Mastiffs that can eclipse 200 pounds. Sure, put a 200 pound Mastiff up against a 15 pound Tabby Cat, and no one is going to be saying that the cat is stronger. But that's not a fair fight. You're taking one of the largest canines on the planet and pitting it against far from the largest feline. It gets a little different out in the wild. More on that in a bit, but first, why such a disparity between the breeds as pets? Well, humans did a lot of selective breeding. When breeding dogs, they had a variety of purposes in mind. They wanted some dogs to be fit for hunting, they wanted some to be fit to guard them and their families, and other dogs they just wanted as companions. Because of all these roles that humans had in mind when breeding dogs, you get the huge variety of sizes. With cats, it was more so to have a companion or to have something with a desirable appearance. Cats were bred to be smaller animals, but that's only the case when it comes to the domestic versions of these animals. When we step out into the wild, it's a whole different story. Wild Felines and Canines when you step out into the wild, felines are almost always larger than canines. When humans don't step in and breed certain sizes, felines got to be much larger. The largest feline in the world is the Siberian tiger. It generally reaches 10 feet long and weighs about 650 pounds. The largest canine in the world is the gray wolf. Now, of course, we exclude people who have mastiffs that weigh slightly over 200 pounds. But grey wolves typically weigh about 180 pounds themselves, and they are generally six and a half feet long. So before, when we measured up the 200-pound mastiff against the 15-pound tabby cat, it was advantage dog. But now, if you pit the Siberian tiger against the grey wolf, advantage cat. Now, you can say it wouldn't be fair in either comparison, and you'd probably be right. But we have two points to make. One, felines are stronger than canines pound for pound. If we found a species from each of the feline family and canine family and got comparable sizes, the felines would win out each time. But the second point to make actually is about the size. Felines just tend to be larger than canines across the board, if you exclude pets that were bred. The mere fact that felines naturally grow to be larger is a testament to their strength, their power, their dominance. Taking the largest and strongest individual from each group and felines win by a mile. Yes, a tiger is far bigger and stronger than a grey wolf, but let's give canines the advantage. Let's allow canines to send their strongest representative, and felines are only allowed to send their second strongest. Lions. How big are lions? About 8 feet long and 550 pounds. Larger and three times their weight, felines still win the strength contest. Let's go with the third largest feline in the world, the jaguar. Six to eight feet long and about 150 to 300 pounds. Okay, even in this scenario, only smaller jaguars are comparable in size to the grey wolf. But most jaguars are still going to be bigger and outweigh them. We took the largest canine and the third largest feline and the advantage still appeared to go to felines. Why is this the case? Why are felines so much stronger and bigger than canines? Body makeup. There's a few answers that explain this. One important factor here is the body makeup of a feline versus a canine. Felines have a higher muscle density. Because of this, they can exert more force relative to their body size. 
Have you ever seen someone's pet cat easily jump from the ground onto a table? Something the dog can't do, not gracefully anyway. Felines' bodies are just more powerful due to their muscle density, and they're more flexible too. This allows them to be agile as well. Agility and strength, a deadly combination. One reason the feline's body is made up this way is because that is how it needs to be in order for the feline to hunt. Most felines are solitary ambush predators, like tigers and jaguars. Or even if not solitary, like cheetahs and lions, they still use the art of ambush. Just like someone's pet cat might do if they see a bird or a squirrel, the lion does the same. The tiger does the same. They hide, they lie perfectly still, only moving slowly to get closer and closer to their prey until they have gotten close enough that they can pounce. Felines rely on their short burst speed and fast twitch muscles. They use their stealth to get as close as possible while remaining undetected, and then they leap into action. Now think, how do canines hunt? Think about how someone's pet dog acts if it sees a bird or a squirrel. It doesn't hide and move into stealth mode. The dog just takes off, running after the thing it wants. And canines in the wild, they do the same. Wolves, coyotes, you name it. They are pack hunters, and what they need in order to take down their prey is endurance. Canines are endurance hunters. This means they will chase their prey, and they are just waiting until their prey is too tired to keep outrunning them. The pack of canines will outlast their prey in a marathon. That's why felines' bodies are built so different from canines. Think of two people going to the gym. One of them is training for a weightlifting competition, and one is training for a marathon. The weightlifter needs powerful muscles, bursts of power, that sort of thing. The marathon runner, they need endurance. They don't need to be as big or as strong. Now, in addition to canines being more lean and built to endure due to their endurance hunting, we still have to figure out why the size disparity is so big. Well, a lot of that has to do with where they live and what they hunt. Canines are wearing their prey out, running after them in a pack. And yes, there are wolves hunting for large hooved animals like elk and deer. But they also go after a lot of smaller animals like beavers and rodents and hares, because that is what is made available to them. Wolves are predominant in places like Russia and North America, also places where the human populations are dense. A lot of cities taking over forested areas. Yes, canines existed long before human civilization and were smaller in size before the first cities were created, but cities have driven out many large animals and have left more smaller animals to exist. So, canines don't have to be so big when a lot of their prey isn't so big. Even coyotes often hunt for rabbits and cats, house cats that is. But felines live in areas like South America, Africa, Asia, they're often in areas far from people, and the prey that they go after tend to be large. Because the prey that felines need to take down are big, they had to evolve to be big themselves. Adult grey wolves will often eat around 20 pounds of meat in one single meal. Take a tiger, for instance. It will eat more like 75 pounds of meat. If you're going to sustain that intake, you'll need to be taking down big animals, and you can't be a pipsqueak yourself. So why are felines stronger than canines? It's easy, because they have to be. Not because they need to beat canines in a battle, but because they need to be stronger in order to hunt, to live. Felines often hunt alone and need the ability to take down a large animal all on their own. And even when in groups, their hunting style is that of one that needs short bursts and explosive power. But canines, they take their prey down in a pack. It's a group effort. They just need endurance. It's all about what they need in life. It's all about their setting, their circumstances, and the animals that they are hunting. These animals have evolved this way in order to keep living. Felines are stronger than canines. They're extremely strong animals because it's absolutely necessary to their very lives.